Hey, this is this eye. Uh, this and this is, I guess, a little bit of some comic book news out there. And I'm going to just start this all off by saying it's always nice to know the star, just to read somebody who is just willing to put their own foot up their own ass. And apparently, Joe Quesada seemed to have done it. On the wonder of full Let's Kiss Marvel's Ass website, CBR, or comicbookresource.com, which even on their forums, They'll, who will basically block you if you try to say anything bad about Joe Quesada, has decided to put up an article of an interview of Joe Quesada. And it's a wonderful little article on which talks about their new series called One Moment in Time, which brings back that wonderful little memories of One More, of one more Day. And if you watched my video, you would know that my original video, my first video, was about One More Day and how much of a bullshit series that thing was. Basically, they retconned Peter Parker's marriage and erased it from all existence. And Joe Quesada, ever since then, has been lifting up both hands in the air with a middle finger, telling everybody to go fuck themselves. And of course, the best part was when he told the writer... Uh, J. Marcos Gudinski, the same guy who wrote for Babylon 5, that, hey, it's magic. We don't have to ac accept it. And, of course, uh, when J. Marcos Gudinski came out with his last three pay uh, last three issues, or maybe more, uh, Joe basically took those issues, scrapped them, and then had some unknown writer write the last three ones, but put J. Marcos Gudinski's name on it anyways. And, yeah, one of the biggest controversies in comic books is who wrote the last couple of issues of Spider-Man One More Day. And not forgetting the whole deal with the devil and just the retconning an entire mar 20 years of marriage and basically telling a hundred people, hundreds of people to basically go fuck themselves constantly. Well, he decided to bring back those memories by saying, hey, I'm going to go fix this. Here's uh, one moment in time. And, of course, he lied, and he didn't fix shit. And he just basically just, well, rubbed everybody's nose in it and was pretty flauntive about it and basically just put a whole bunch of shit in there. And once we're one guy from that guy with the glasses, as you know, Lucaria basically finally come up with a video telling Joe Quesada that he's a hack. And I would have to agree with that one. So, anyways, in the interview with Joe Quesada, he basically said that the original marriage between Mary Jane and Peter Parker was nothing more than a publicity stunt. Somewhat right. And, of course, you know, he speaks about how wrong it is. So, anyways, sorry about that. So, anyways, what did uh, what happened here? <laughs> well, the only real problem is when he calls this whole thing a publicity stunt. Oh, where do I begin? First, you got Civil War comic book that was under Joe Quesada, in which if you wanted to get the special well, cover done by the late Michael uh Michael Turner, and this is before Michael Turner died but anyways by the late michael turner you would have to buy 1000 uh issue the comic book store would have to buy 1000 issues of civil war to get the special michael turner cover but to get the my special michael the special michael turner sketch cover they would have to buy literally and i'm not joking here 2000 copies of civil war to get the special michael turner sketch cover you can look it up all in on Google. Just type in Marvel Civil War Michael Turner sketch cover and you would see it. It's pretty it's uh it's one of the most hardest to find comic books out there. And yeah. <sighs> but that it doesn't just end there. Besides the fact that the article was basically intended to piss spy, uh Spider-Man readers off to hopefully sell more comic books and the fact that he well lied about one moment in time that is another sales gimmick so basically both the marvel civil war michael turner covers and this whole 
you know, lying about one moment in time and coming up with this interview to piss off the readers to get more readership. Yeah, that's another sales gimmick, or how should I put it, this, a publicity stunt. And then we get to the cream of the crop. Another marriage. Another marriage, which apparently came out of nowhere, just as Joe Quesada described about the Peter Parker and Mary Jane marriage, that, well, actually failed in the comic books, and that was meant to save a certain comic book. You probably don't remember the old Black Panther comic books. But, and then, you of course, what did they do to ha try to help save uh, the Black Panther comic books from cancellation? But, by having him marry Storm from the X-Men comic books. And, of course, their loving relationship literally came out of nowhere. Just like what Joe said about Mary Jane and Peter Parker's marriage. Their love and relationship just came out of nowhere. It was all just a publicity stunt. That's the whole truth behind it. You know what, Joe? If you're going to badmouth a series and call it nothing more than a publicity stunt, you might want to check before you actually had done that publicity stunt yourself. Not only to add salt onto the wound, you stupid fucking idiot. Let me explain something to you. You put Storm's fucking wedding dress on the cover of TV Guide. I'm not kidding. Hell, there's the proof right there. You're fucking so full of yourself. <sighs> uh, seriously, I'm going to put all the links down there, especially the l one on the CBR about saying that the Storm wedding dress is announced under fucking TV Guide. And guess who was behind that little publicity stunt? <gasps> was that you, Joe? Oh, yeah, that's right. You had a marriage start for no reason and didn't explain much about it, even though ultimately it didn't save the Black Panther comic books because it ultimately was canceled. And yet you had... You put her wedding dress on the cover of tel TV Guide. Yeah. You're basically a fucking hypocrite. <laughs>